CJ's hamstring, Alan Bradford's knee. Stanley, Stanley has some stomach, stomach issues this afternoon, so we're kind of a little banged up at tailback, but hopefully all those guys will be here tomorrow as we get ready to have preseason game three tomorrow. Um, good test for these guys, really the, kind of the final test for the most part of, of the preseason of training camp. So um, we'll spend a lot of time after that, not just going over that film, but the first three weeks of camp kind of get our thoughts together and directions that we'll head at that point, getting ready for the season. Is Alan going to have any x-rays or anything? Is it, or is it just a, look like a bruise or something that it's going to need? Yeah, they didn't think it was very much, but we'll, we'll check him out again inside. I just thought that his knee got banged around there. And when they brought him on the side, they didn't think it was a big deal. If those guys for, don't bounce back and can't go tomorrow, are you going to be concerned about that, that if Gable can't go and Bradford can't go? Sure. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't leave a lot of people. Um, I thought you were going to ask, are we going to unsuspend Dylan? That's what you're trying to get to. Um, no, it wasn't going to happen. Become a spread team. Like Hawaii, I guess, at that point. For a long game. Um, <clears throat> Kyle Prater, is he just having still more like leg problems? or? Yeah, at one point it was his growing, now it's his thigh this morning when he woke up. Just kind of a freak deal. Hadn't had much issues with it, and all of a sudden this morning had a lot of issues with it. And we weren't able to get him get him going today, so um, kind of iced him down, rest him, and hopefully um, he'll be able to go tomorrow. And if he doesn't, then you know Sunday's their day off. And the goal is to have all these guys back Monday that we can. Are you going to tackle tomorrow? I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't think so. Um, maybe parts of it. You know, maybe. Maybe we'll put select people with the twos or something, the guys that we really need to see, but we're going to spend some time thinking about that tonight and weighing it out. Is there a part of you that would just like to get to game week so you can not have to worry about losing guys and you know, who you have? Yeah, there is. Um, you know, it is kind of like you hold your breath at every practice because you're just hoping to get through it every time. You know, Helen goes down right there. Every time you see anybody do anything, you, know, you think about almost stopping practice. So, yeah, we would like to get to it, but at the same time, we have to still continue to mentally develop our players and other guys, and we can't just not practice at all. So, we we'll just keep managing the best that we can and try to have as many of them available next Monday. You had mentioned uh, that David Osberg has a fibula issue of some kind. He had like a stress fracture of some kind last year. Is it related? To yeah, that? yeah, it's the um, same thing that he had last year. I'm not saying it's the same degree, but it's the same issue. We're, we're hoping that uh, as, we, as they look back, we kind of pushed him last year at this point and made it worse. So hopefully us not pushing him will make him out as long as it was last time.